All right, I think it's a good time for everyone to start the online session today. So greeting from Bangkok, Thailand. It's a good time to start now. So welcome everyone to the virtual open house for graduate program at the faculties of pharmaceutical science, Chulalongkorn University. This year is a special year that we start the virtual open house that we can broadcast online in Thailand and also the, around the world. We would like to connect our perspective graduate student worldwide and provide the inside information about our graduate programs at the faculties of pharmaceutical science, Chulalongkorn University. Right now it's about 30 participants in our online session. So some of you are in the process of admission in this semester, or some of you may planning for graduate school. So this webinar will provide wide range of information, start with information of our university, Chulalongkorn University, information of faculties of pharmaceutical science, information about admission and general information about our programs. So if you are looking forward for graduate programs, right now it's an application process that opened since February until May. So if you apply in this period, you will uh, join the first semester of our school, which will start in August. So I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Supakan Chamni, Assistant Dean of Graduate Affairs. So I will serve as the host today and I also a speaker in the session one, which will provide basic information overall for the graduate study for qualifications and scholarships. And the next session, which is session two, we have uh, our lovely, program coordinator. Joining us today from various programs, we have Dr. Tatta Sibun Reung, program coordinators from pharmaceutical care program. She's taking care of master degrees. Also, we have Dr. Siripan Patana Rudi. She's also program coordinators from pharmaceutical care programs and she's taking care of PhD programs. Next, we have Dr. Supanika Thawinwang. She's a program coordinator of pharmacology and toxicology programs. Also joining us is Dr. Pridakon Chunhacha. He's program coordinator of pharmaceutical science and technology programs. And the last programs joining us today is Dr. Jitima Lakhanagun. She's program coordinators of cosmetic science. And you can see the schedule timeline at the bottom of the screens. So I hope everyone stay with us since this time until the end. And if you have any question during the seminar, you can send your question in the chat, in the Zoom or either in uh, Facebook Live. We will have staff to guide you or send you the way to get your answer. And also um, during this sessions, you can go to uh, our drive, which is the QR code showing on the screen. When you scan the QR code, you can get into the basic information, including uh, brochure and um, booklet about our faculties. Also, um, the qualification of each program, if you would like to apply, what is the minimum guideline and also um, time schedule for the interview. So you can scan the QR code right now. Or in the meantime, I will send you a link for Google Drive that you can access to the document. All right. Um, now I would like to start 
the first sessions. And this session, we will provide you the information about our faculty's member. Some of you may come from uh, other countries. In Thailand, I think everyone get familiar with Jolalongkorn University and faculties of pharmaceutical science because we is one of the leading higher educations that uh, provide wide range of academics knowledge. Then I will give you background of our graduate programs, study plan that we have, also guideline for admission. Then I will give you some information about qualifications and also scholarship for Thai student and international student. This session um, we plan to deliver in English. However, um, if you have information in Thai, you can send the Thai message in the chat box. We will um, either answer you in Thai or in English language. So just feel free to use any kind of language, either Thai or English. Okay, so for Chulalongkorn University, um, we are located in the center of Bangkok and we was ranked, right now we is ranked as the world top 100 university in ASEAN. And we get a good record at the QS World University ranking in 2021. For faculties of pharmaceutical science, we are the first pharmaceutical institute in Thailand. Our faculties have been served as the reference for pharmaceutical knowledge for more than 100 years. And right now we have more than 200 faculties member, 200 faculties member and staff. It's about 100 faculties member and 100 staff to serve you either academics and service um, worldwide and nationwide. If you want to see individual faculties member profile, you can go to the link down below, which is the university link that provide you the information of faculties expertise, their research areas and also current publications. Since we have a um, large number of faculties member, we also have many generations from the older and younger generations. And we are well known in world level and our faculties member are worry now faculties member. Showing you here is an example of some um, high reputations in world class levels, we have Professor Kittisak Likit Vithyabut and Professor Thomayan Priksaritanun, who are listed as the top 2% of the world scientists, who are their research was cited at the most top 2% worldwide in pharmaceutical fields. And next we have Professor Pon Anong Arambit, She's obtained the Leadership Award in 2019 as the Grand Officer, British High Commission, the United Kingdom. And she's also uh, well known for innovations of pharmaceuticals areas. Next, our young generations, we have Professor Piti Janwarachot, who are when Alexander Van Humbo alumni, and his expertise in cancer mechanisms. And the last one is Associate Professor Warisa Pongre Kananun. She's obtained Royal UNESCO for Women in Science Award of Thailand in 2018. So if you want to search for more faculties member who are working in pharmaceutical fields or any other um, scientific fields, you can go to the link down below to see what we have in our faculties. At faculties of pharmaceutical science, we consist of seven faculties member, which is pharmaceutics and industrial pharmacy, pharmacy practice, food and pharmaceutical chemistry, pharmacognosy and pharmaceutical botany, pharmacology and toxicology, biochemistry and molecular biology. And also we have social and administrative pharmacy. So for overall, these seven departments have worked together as a home of uh, research discovery and development. And we develop wide range of research regarding 
drug discovery and development. As showing here, the research area that we currently have in-house, we working on clinical and patient care, drug delivery, drug action, drug delivery, drug developments, and social and administrative pharmacy. If you look for detail of this department and research, you can scan the QR code on the right-hand side to access the graduate prospectus and graduate brochure. So you will have more information about each research area. Also, we provide information about cost and specialist in each programs and also email of um, program coordinators. If you have more information or more questions you need to know, you can send an email directly to our program coordinator. Not only um, research and class that we provide for our graduate student, as you realize that the world developing so fast and we want to utilize the research to close to the real situation and apply to industrialization and also use it for human benefit. We also a home of research and innovation centers. We have many research units and research cluster to provide a knowledge and fundamental and also laboratories that will equip it with cutting edge instrument in wide range of area, including um, Jualongon cannabis and natural substance or Jualongon's research cluster, DNA barcoding of Thai medicine plants research unit, and also research unit for plants produce pharmaceutics. This is just one of example that I select to show you in these sessions. However, we have many more research units and research cluster running for uh, many areas such as natural products, animal uh, research, or um, anti-cancer mechanisms. Also, faculties also serve as an incubator for startup companies. We just launched three startup companies, namely Baya Phytopharm, Napsolute, and Herb Guardians. All of th these three companies are developing some medical device such as test kit, um, vaccine, um, sprays, or um, DNA test kit for using at the current problems that we have, such as the treatment or protections of COVID-19. All of this startup actually is supported by CU Pharmacy Enterprise. And also one of the big research center that dealing with um, the development and discovery of medicine is we have Jualongkorn University Drug Discovery and Development Centers. So all of this is one of example that we provide as a learning platform for our graduate student to apply their knowledge to the real system that currently used in human life. Our faculties actually um, serve for graduate study for long times. And right now we have about 250 graduate students. And the profile of international that we have right now since 2019, we have about 40% overall. So based on 250, we have about 100 graduate students from many places around the world, including um, America, uh, Europe, and also ASEAN, such as Myanmar, Indonesia, Vietnam, Philippines, and Bangladesh. To access our university and also our faculties, um, since we located at the centers of Bangkok, so you can access our faculties in various way. And also you can use public transportation such as SkyTrain or um, Metro, which is um, train system. If you come to our um, airport, which is 
nation airport, Suvarnabhumi airport. You can go to our faculties within one hour using airport link and connect with sky trains and metro trains. Within one hour, you can reach our faculties, which located near the main station, namely National Stadium and Siam stations. If you want to see more information about how to get into our faculties, you can scan the QR code, which is the map that um, show you um, where you can uh, access Bangkok and come to our faculties. So for the graduate programs, as I mentioned to you before, right now um, the graduate admission is open for the first semester. Our semester um, are ranged into two semester. First semester start in August and second semester start in January. So if you apply right now during February to May 2021, you will join our program at the first semester, which start in August 2021. And we understand that during the COVID-19, some transportation may be prohibited. International students cannot um, use the at airplane to come to Thailand or some students study in other province in Thailand. So our facilities can support you to taking class online. And on the first semester, I think all of our graduate programs can provide the options of learning online. But in the second semester, I would encourage all of the students come to our faculties and start on site learning because study in the graduate programs, not only taking class, you need to spend a lot of time in laboratories and doing your research. So if you can come to our faculties as soon as possible in the safe protocol with quarantine or vaccinated already. You can come to our faculties and start your research once you get in to the laboratories, which will be benefit for you in terms of control the timeline of your graduations. So now I would like to lead you to the introduction of our graduate programs. So as I mentioned before, you can scan the QR code to access some document online. We provide graduate prospectus booklet that give you the fundamental and information of our faculties. And also you can scan the QR code for graduate brochure, which provide you the information of each graduate programs. Show you in the pictures is some learning environment that we provide our student. We have um, advanced laboratories at the level of world-class international levels. Our graduate study can participate in the international levels. We can use English for communications and learning in class. We also have many international students from many countries. So you can share your culture and also you can build um, international community which will support your future career. So now I would like to um, bring up the introduction video about our graduate program. So please stay tuned. Chulalongkorn University is the premier academic institution in Thailand and its Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences is the country's first institute of pharmacy. For more than a century, the faculty has been a leading contributor to pharmaceutical knowledge and research. It has consistently sought to develop expert pharmacists, academics, and entrepreneurs for drug discovery and development. 
drug management and the creation of pharmaceutical innovations that meet international standards of excellence. The Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences offers six graduate programs at the doctoral and master's degree levels. All programs are taught in both Thai and English via on-site and virtual classroom learning systems. Pharmaceutical care. It creates new knowledge through scientific research in hospital pharmacy, pharmacotherapy, clinical pharmacokinetics, and clinical nutrition. Pharmacology and toxicology. It involves drug action on diseases, molecular pharmacology and genetic study to identify a new molecular target, biological activity determination of chemical substances, investigation of biomolecular substances, preclinical evaluation through in vitro and in vivo studies. Industrial Pharmacy The researcher will be trained in developing pharmaceutical and related health products, including the production process and quality assessment. This program offers two research tracks, which are Pharmaceutical Engineering and Pharmaceutics. Social and Administrative Pharmacy It allows students to conduct research on building theories, concepts, and tools, along with developing knowledge in different fields, such as Pharmacoepidemiology, Pharmacoeconomics, Pharmacy Administration, Patient Drug Use Behavior, Drug Information Technology, and Drug and Health Policy. Pharmaceutical Sciences and Technology It involves integrated research to promote specialty in the pharmaceutical sciences and technology and undertake advanced research to discover and develop therapeutic substances. The multidisciplinary program offers these six research tracks including herbal medicines and natural products, medicinal chemistry and pharmaceutical analysis, food chemistry and medicinal nutrition drug delivery systems and pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical biotechnology and microbiology, and pharmacology and toxicology. Cosmetic science. It produces cosmetic science specialists and creates advanced research and innovations that gain international recognition. The Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences is also home to the Pharmaceutical Research Instruments Center, a facility fully equipped with cutting-edge instruments to facilitate outstanding research published in the top 10% of academic journals. The center also supports innovative research with its applications that benefit human health care. The research includes The identification of biologically active natural compounds that can be further developed as herbal drugs and supplements. Cancer research that has led to the discovery of biomolecular targets, anti-cancer mechanisms, and new therapeutic approaches to cancer treatment. Research and development of protein production technology from tobacco leaves to innovate an antibody test kit and vaccine. Research and development of nanopolymers used in pharmaceutical products for dust and virus protection and cosmetic products for health and beauty enhancement. Research on silk proteins for the development of wound healing pads. In addition, the faculty has worked with the national regulator on drug quality control and drug system management. The faculty is committed to forging collaborations with national and international organizations, including universities, research institutes, government agencies, and pharmaceutical companies. Our graduate students have the opportunity to collaborate with respected experts in their research field. This experience enhances their academic potential for coping with global change. These are the goals of the graduate studies programs at the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Jalalongkorn University. Encompassing both academic and research components, these programs are designed to produce top-caliber graduates who serve the global society.
All right, that's our uh, premiere videos that introduce you about the graduate programs at faculties of pharmaceutical science, Chulalongkorn University. So we have six graduate programs in many fields from uh, clinical study, drug discovery and development, and also social and administrative pharmacy. So I get one question from the chat box asking about the social and administrative programs. We have these programs, but for the first semester of academic years 2021, these programs already full of the of the acceptance. However, the programs will open again next semester. If you look for these programs, you can stay with us to get some information for you to prepare for the next round of the admission. So next, I will provide you about the inside information of the graduate study system. I will talk about study plan and um, some qualifications, admission tips, and also scholarships. So please stay tuned with me. And if you have any, in, any question and any information that you would like to know, you can send your question in the chat so I can have my staff answer to you shortly. For the study plan, I would like to start with master degree first. For the master degrees, we have several degree plans, which showing here is plan A1, A2, and plan B. For master degrees, the whole curriculum need 36 credits. And normally our students take about one to three, to three years of study, depend on how fast of their coursework and how progress of their research. The master programs of our faculties need to enroll both subjects and research study. For plan A1, it is an it is a non coursework curriculum. So in this program, you will register research only for 36 credits. The criteria of prospective student that be able to register to the non coursework programs, you can look for more in the Google Drive. There are specific criteria such as grade and publications that you need to have before you join the non cost work programs. Plan A2 is the program that composed of coursework for 18 credits and thesis or research for 18 credits. So summary of 36 credits. For Plan B, this course spend more time on coursework, which have coursework for 18 credits and research for six credits. Next, I would like to give you information about doctoral degrees. For doctoral degrees, again, our programs require to enroll both subject and research study. For the subject, some non coursework uh, programs with master degrees and non coursework and doctoral degrees, they also need to enroll for seminar subject, not only research study. And for the doctoral degree, to be able to graduate, you need to fulfill the requirement by having an international research publications. Study plan for doctoral degrees, we have several options. First option is for the applicants holding master degree. This is mean that you already finished your master degrees already. You can enroll to plan 1.1 or plan 2.1. We have non coursework and coursework programs. For non coursework, you will register research only for 48 credits. For coursework, you will register 12 credits for coursework plus 36 credits for research. 
So this curriculum requires 48 credits overall. And basically, um, our students take about three to four years to graduate. Next option for applicants hold bachelor degrees. So this means like after you get your bachelor degrees, you go directly to doctoral degrees. So you need to study for 72 credits and you have two options, non-coursework and coursework. For non-coursework, you will register 72 credits for research only, including a seminar. For coursework, you need to register 24 credits of subjects and 48 credits for research. So totally, you need to study for 72 credits. In general, um, the Office of Register will allow students to enroll the maximum of 18 credits per semester. And we allow students to register for three semester, which is first semester, second semester, and summer semester. For admission guideline, the admission schedule, we have two times of admission, depending on semester. For enrolling to the first semester, the admission schedule start in February to May, and first semester start in uh, August. Enroll to second semester, Admission start in September to November, and the second semester will be started in January. So I would like to give you a step of admission. So if you are interested in our program, what you need to do first is visit program website to find information, whether our program is suitable for you or not, or we provide the research area that you're looking for and you would like to learn more or not. To get this information, you can go to university website at worldwideweb.ac.th slash academics. So this you will get many information about our graduate programs and also our staff um, profile. Next, you can go to faculty's website at worldwideweb.farm.jula.ac.th. So once you get general information at our website, if you need more information or you have some question, you can send email to program coordinators that normally show the email in the website to ask about cost and research availabilities. Some of research group may be full and not take new student in a corresponding semester. However, next semester they may open again. So you can always send an email to our program coordinators to get the most update of each program. To get into the CV or profile of our faculty's member, you can go to the link worldwideweb.research.jula.ac.th and search for the name of our faculties, faculties of pharmaceutical science. Once you find out that your profile and our program are match very well and you decide to come to our faculties to join the graduate study, what you need to prepare, you need to prepare several of documents for your applications ahead of time before you start your applications online. What you need to prepare is passports, which should be valid before your expiration date. Transcript, you can have the copy of your official transcript that issued by the university that you graduate. I understand that many universities around the world, they have different um, grade systems. Some of them have percentile, some of them has score, or some of them have GPA. Our university, we have GPA system. So you need to have a copy of GPA conversion that convert your transcript score to the 4.0 scale. 
you need to have English score such as CUTEP, which um, provide the examination by Jhulalongkorn University, IELTS test or TOEFL test. However, during the COVID-19, right now, the graduate school of Jhulalongkorn University announced that they will waive the English score for admission. However, if you would like to apply for scholarship, you still need to have English score. Without English score, they only allow you apply for the programs for the graduate study only. Next, you need to have your resume or CV ready to show your expertise, your background, and what is your um, advanced uh, profile that show the strength that you should get an offer to go to our graduate programs. Statement of purpose, copy of research articles if you have. For research articles, it's necessary for the prospective student that would like to apply to the non-coursework programs or student that would like to go to doctoral degrees without um, master degrees so you need to have research articles or uh, approved letters that you have research experience next you need to have recommendation letters from two reference persons for the recommendation letters some programs provide um, the letter form, so you can ask the program coordinator whether you have whether they have recommendation letters form or not. Also, other forms that required by each programs. So to prepare all documents, what you need to do is you can find information by contact the program coordinators ahead of time to make you have. Um, write information before you start your online applications. For online applications, you can apply online to the university system by going to worldwideweb.register.gradula.com. At this website, they have two languages, which is Thai language and English language. For English language, if you find out that there are some left off which um, the information stay in Thai language. The easiest way that I would recommend is you can get copy that content and paste it in Google Translate. And Google Translate will give you a translation version. Or if you have Google Translate application installed in your device, uh, the applications will automatically uh, translate the context that university uh, written in Thai language. For online applications, Thai students will need to pay an application fee. You can study on the system whether how much you need to pay and what is the method of payment. I think they allow for bank transfer. For international applicants, university uh, will waive an application fee. So you don't need to pay during the online application process. However, after admission, you may need to get information from the programs whether you, they require to pay um, program fee or application fee directly to each programs or not. Once you already submit the online applications, you will get an approved document. You need to save and print it out. Also, you can save as the PDF file and send the PDF file to the programs by the email. Then they will confirm and contact you later for the schedule of document evaluations and interview. Document evaluation and interview will manage by program committees. So each program will have different um, 
into your timeline. So you need to update with programs when is their interview schedule. And also some programs, they will evaluate an interview scholarship within the admission process. So you need to get correct information and prepare yourself ahead of time to get the best version for your interview and evaluations. Here is the general qualifications. What I will um, present to you now is the minimum qualifications that most of the programs will look for each prospective graduate student. What they're looking for is um, first, your academic profile. You need to graduate from accredited higher education institute. We have experienced that some of international university, the university have been listed as in accredited higher education institute. Even though they provide you a degree or certificate, we will not accept those degrees or certificates. So before you apply, you need to make sure that you graduate from accredited higher education institute, both in Thailand and uh, worldwide. Then if you would like to apply to master degree, the requirement for master degrees, you need to graduate and obtain bachelor degrees in pharmacy, in science or any related fields. This information will be listed in detail in the announcement of each program that you can download when you access to the online applications at university website. For master degrees, the minimum GPA that suitable for our program should be at least 2.5. If you plan to apply to doctor, doctoral degrees, um, you need to get bachelor degrees or master degree in pharmacies, science or other related fields. Also the GPA, you need to get GPA more than 3.0. This will be um, different depend on your profile. If you hold bachelor degrees or if you hold master degrees. So there will be more detail for you to study based on your profile. For scholarship, as I mentioned before, um, to admit, to apply to the graduate programs, we look for your education profile and university web for um, English score. However, to apply scholarship, your profile need to be outstanding. And we provide limit number of scholarships. So we will select the most um, on top profile of each applicant. They need to have high GPA such as 3.25 for bachelor degrees or 3.5 for master degrees. And also they need to have English score such as CU TEP, IELTS or TOEFL score to be able to pass the minimum qualification of scholarship applications. And you need to contact program whether they have more requirement. As you noticed, um, our system we do not require the GRE. English GRE or subject GRE are not required for our graduate study. But if you have, you can always attach your profile along with your applications. For tuition, um, you can look at university website for the most update to tuition and fee. And tuition and fee will be announced and changed regularly based on university guidelines. So you need to check website for your most update information. In general, um, we have 
uh, two system of tuitions for Thai student and international student. For Thai student, you will pay tuition about 35,000 each semester. And for international student, tuition is 35,000. However, some programs, they require for international fee about 62,000. 62, so overall, it's about almost 100,000 um, Thai bar. So you need to get information for the programs, whether you have extra fee or not. Um, the fee will be international fee or program fee or both of them. Here come to the most important information that many students are looking forward to hear in this webinar. So I would like to start with the information of scholarship for the international student. For the international student, um, you need to apply scholarship during admission and our programs, the program at faculties of pharmaceutical science, normally the committee will evaluate scholarship within the admission evaluation. So you need to have all information ready, including your English score. And we have two types of scholarship for international students. First, scholarship for ASEAN and non-ASEAN country. This scholarship will provide for master degrees and doctoral degrees. For master degree, the scholarship will support for two years of study. And PhD program scholarship will provide for three years of study. If it's happened that when you join the program and you cannot graduate within the time of scholarship support, the continuing time you need to pay and support yourself this is the general rule of ASEAN and non-ASEAN country scholarship so they will provide with the limit time two years for master degrees and three years for PhD degrees they will provide tuitions they will cover tuition that pay to university and programs also they will provide monthly expense it's like salary for graduate student to work as um, teaching assistant or research assistant about uh, 16,000 per month. And also they provide route ticket for your home countries. And uh, the route ticket range depend on the location of your home countries. So if you would like to get more information about ASEAN and non-ASEAN scholarship, you can go to the website, which is the second QR code right here at worldwidewebacademic.jula.ac.th and click at international scholarship. So they will have an announcement and information each step for your applications. Next scholarship is C2F. This scholarship only provides for doctoral degrees. And the application will start two ways. So prospective students need to talk with prospective advisor first, give information and potential research topic that, that you will work together once student and advisor make decision that they will work together. Advisor will submit their applications to research system. And then student will apply their self to the application system. So it's two way of applications and university will evaluate both um, advisor profile and student profile. So this scholarship, it's more competitive in terms of get funding because they need outstanding profile, both professor and graduate student. And duration of support depend on student profile. If you come with bachelor degrees, they will support PhD study for five years. 
if you apply with master degrees, they will support for three years. What you will get for C2F, they will support tuition and monthly expense depend on your profile about 20,000 to 30,000 each month. And also they will provide accommodation fee for your living in Thailand. This funding not include um, spouse or families that come with you. If you need more information, you can scan the QR code to get into the email of c2f at jula.ac.th. For announcement, you can go to university website. If you are a Facebook member, you can search C2F Jula, so you can find their uh, Facebook page and then they will announce the timeline of applications each semester. Then I will talk about scholarship for Thai students. Um, I will present in English, but Thai students can see information that show you in Thai. Basically, you have to scholarship System first is the scholarship provided by C2F. Next are scholarship provided by graduate school Chulalongkorn University. They have many types of scholarship for you, such as 72 year scholarship, 60 40 um, scholarship, teaching assistant, research assistant, and 90 years scholarship for Thai student. For C2F, scholarship provide only for doctoral degrees and depend on your, de your um, degrees. If you apply with doctoral degrees, you will get five years of funding. If you apply with doctor, uh, master degrees, they will give you three years of funding. And this scholarship is admission scholarship. So you need to apply once you admission to the programs. They provide tuition, um, money allowance, and also accommodation. Next is scholarship from graduate school at Jula-Longkorn University. You can go to website worldwidewebgradjula.ac.th to get detail of information. So for um, funding or scholarship from graduate school, um, we have two system. First is funding that you need to apply when you start admission. It's 72 years scholarship. This is the funding from um, student that apply to the programs since admission process. If you already our graduate student, you can apply for other scholarships such as uh, 6040 scholarship. This scholarship only provide tuition and you need to contact your program first because 40% of tuition will provide from the programs that you're joining. Or you can help support as teaching assistant, research assistant. And then if you pass proposal exam and your thesis topic already approved by the graduate school. You can apply for a 90 year scholarship to get money for your research and also research assistance um, funding. So that would be general information about the graduate study at the faculties of pharmaceutical science, Jula-Longkorn University. If you need more information, you can scan QR code to get into Google Drive and there will be listed of our document um, in the folder of each programs and also brochure and booklet 
for overall information of the graduate system at our faculties. Also, you can follow our update at Facebook page at facebook.com slash farm.jular farm cu grad. So we will update um, the current information that we have for our graduate study. So this would be the end of the session one, which provide information of the graduate programs. Then I will lead you to session two of um, our activities in this online webinar. So the session two, we we will have the lovely graduate program coordinators for many programs joining us today. And we have um, five programs joining us, which is pharmaceutical care, then followed by pharmacology and toxicology. Next programs is industrial pharmacy. Then you will meet pharmaceutical science and technology. And the last program is cosmetic science. For social and administrative pharmacy, the program's currently full. So they already have full seat of the graduate students. So for the first semester, the admission is closed. But um, if you want to apply, you can look for the information that post in the Google Drive and self-study to prepare yourself for next semester. All right, um, that would be it for my session. So I would like to say thank you everyone to come joining us today. Even though we have some barrier because of the COVID-19, we still reach you online by using the online device provided by university, using Zoom applications or Facebook Live that you can reach us and connect online. And um, experience that you have today, actually the same experience that once you be in our graduate study and we provide online class, you will joining us and learning with us as the online system that you participate today. So it's look like um, Dr. Tata from uh, pharmaceutical care programs already ready. So I would like to introduce the pharmaceutical care programs and bring up the sessions to the program coordinators. Over to you. Thank you, Dr. Let's start, Dr. Silipan. Okay, thank you so much to uh, Ajahn Tata. Uh, the next session would be about the pharmaceutical care programs. And because we, uh, we provide for both the master degree and the PhD degree. Today we have prepared the video clips and they are, the one would be in Thai language and the other would be in English. So uh, I would like to uh, have the first one in Thai language first and then for, followed by the English. After that, uh, I think I will have about five to 10 minutes left so that we can uh, take the questions. So if, any of you have questions, we can talk about it after we finish to clip video. Thank you. สวัสดีค่ะหลักสูตรเภสัชศาสตร์มหาบัณฑิตและหลักสูตรเภสัชศาสตร์ดุษฎีบัณฑิตสาขาการบริบาลทางเภสัชกรรมหรือที่เรียกกันง่ายๆว่าหลักสูตรเภสัชกรรมคลินิกหลักสูตรนี้นะคะมุ่งเน้นการดูแลผู้ป่วยทั้งในโรงพยาบาลและร้านยาค่ะ
โดยมีภาควิชาเภสัชกรรมปฏิบัติเป็นผู้รับผิดชอบหลักนอกเหนือจากนี้นะคะเรายังมีความร่วมมือกับภาควิชาอื่นๆเช่นภาควิชาอาหารและเภสัชเคดีรวมถึงหน่วยงานภาครัฐและเอกชนทั้งในและต่างประเทศค่ะจุดเด่นของหลักสูตรนี้นะคะคือหากผู้เรียนเข้าศึกษาในระดับปริญญาโทแล้วเกิดเปลี่ยนใจอยากศึกษาต่อในระดับปริญญาเอกก็สามารถเทียบโอนหน่วยกิจค่ะย้ายเข้าหลักสูตรปริญญาเอกได้เลยเช่นเดียวกันนะคะหากผู้เรียนเข้าศึกษาต่อในระดับปริญญาเอกเกิดมีภารกิจที่จําเป็นต้องไปทําก็สามารถมาเรียนในหลักสูตรปริญญาโทได้เลยโดยไม่ต้องสมัครใหม่ค่ะหลักสูตรนี้มีการเรียนการสอนและการทําวิจัยมาอย่างยาวนานมีการปรับปรุงหลักสูตรให้มีความทันสมัยตลอดมาจนถึงปัจจุบันนะคะมีผู้เข้าศึกษาในระดับปริญญาโทไม่ต่ํากว่า200ท่านและในระดับปริญญาเอกไม่ต่ํากว่า20ท่านค่ะโดยรายละเอียดของหลักสูตรในปัจจุบันมีดังต่อไปนี้ค่ะหลักสูตรเภสัชศาสตร์มหาบัณฑิตสาขาวิชาการบริบาลทางเภสัชกรรมเรามีการจัดการเรียนการสอน2รูปแบบคือรูปแบบแรกเป็นแบบพิเศษมีการทําวิจัยเพียงอย่างเดียวแบบที่2เป็นแบบปกติคือมีการเรียนร่วมกับการทําวิจัยโดยผู้สมัครต้องจบเภสัชศาสตร์บัณฑิตมีเกรดเฉลี่ยอย่างน้อย 2.5 ขึ้นไปแต่ถ้าอยากสมัครแบบทําวิจัยอย่างเดียวต้องมีเกรดเฉลี่ยอย่างน้อย3ขึ้นไปร่วมกับมีประสบการณ์การทํางานอย่างน้อย3ปีหรือถ้าไม่มีประสบการณ์การทํางานต้องเกรดเฉลี่ยอย่างน้อย 3.5 ขึ้นไปค่ะนอกจากนั้นแล้วต้องมีคะแนนภาษาอังกฤษผ่านตามเกณฑ์ของบัณฑิตวิทยาลัยร่วมกับผ่านการสอบข้อเขียนและสอบสัมภาษณ์ค่ะหลักสูตรเภสัชศาสตร์ดุษฎีบัณฑิตสาขาวิชาการบริบาลทางเภสัชกรรมก็เช่นเดียวกันมี2รูปแบบรูปแบบที่1ทําวิทยานิพนธ์อย่างเดียวหรือแบบที่2เรียนร่วมกับการทําวิทยานิพนธ์โดยผู้สมัครวุฒิปริญญาตรีจะใช้เวลาประมาณ 4-5 ปีการศึกษาถ้ามาด้วยวุฒิปริญญาโทจะใช้เวลาประมาณ 2-3 ปีการศึกษาโดยผู้สมัครต้องมีคุณสมบัติดังนี้ข้อที่1สําสำเร็จการศึกษาเภสัชศาสตร์บัณฑิตหรือแพทยศาสตร์บัณฑิตเกียรตินิยมและมีใบประกอบวิชาชีพข้อที่2มีคะแนนภาษาอังกฤษแรกรับตรงตามประกาศรับสมัครเข้าของบัณฑิตวิทยาลัยจุฬาลงกรณ์มหาวิทยาลัยและ 3. สอบผ่านข้อเขียนและสัมภาษณ์ทั้งนี้ผู้สมัครสามารถศึกษารายละเอียดเพิ่มเติมได้จากประกาศรับสมัครของบัณฑิตวิทยาลัยจุฬาลงกรณ์มหาวิทยาลัยในแต่ละปีการศึกษาครับในส่วนงานวิจัยของภาควิชาซึ่งมีส่วนเกี่ยวข้องโดยตรงกับวิทยานิพนธ์ของนิสิตระดับบัณฑิตศึกษาเรามีความเชี่ยวชาญอยู่4ด้านหลักด้วยกันนะคะด้านแรกคืองานวิจัยทางคลินิกได้แก่หัวข้อทางฟาร์มาโกโทรปีในโรคต่างๆเช่นโรคติดเชื้อโรคไตโรคมะเร็งและโรคทางระบบประสาทและจิตเวชมีการศึกษาทั้งผู้ป่วยในและผู้ป่วยนอกรวมถึงการประยุกต์ใช้หลักการทางฟาร์มาโกไคเนติกฟาร์มาโกดินามิกในการดูแลคนไข้ด้านที่2เป็นเรื่องของการพัฒนาและศึกษาวิเคราะห์ผลิตภัณฑ์ที่เกี่ยวข้องกับการศึกษาในผู้ป่วยทางคลินิกนะคะด้านที่3คือการศึกษาด้านคุณภาพชีวิตและด้านสุดท้ายคือด้านระบบการบริหารจัดการยาโดยความร่วมมือของคณะจารย์ในภาควิชาดังนี้ค่ะหลักสูตรเน้นความยืดหยุ่นให้นิสิตสามารถเลือกหัวข้อให้เหมาะสมกับความต้องการในการนําไปปฏิบัติงานในอนาคตรวมถึงมีความยืดหยุ่นในส่วนของรายวิชาและระยะเวลาในการเรียนการสอนนอกจากนี้ยังมีทุนสนับสนุนในทุกระดับสําหรับนิสิตทุกคนที่มีคุณสมบัติครบถ้วนตามข้อกําหนดขอให้ผู้ที่สนใจลองเปิดใจมาเรียนรู้หลักสูตรนี้ร่วมกันนะคะรับรองค่ะจะมีความรู้ประสบการณ์และความสนุกมากมายรอท่านอยู่
um, it's really fun to study here. Uh, professors are really kind and encouraging every student. Uh, so we don't need to be afraid of asking questions and so that we can discuss on every topic in, and discuss on the every areas of all the study. So, and I got a lot of new friends and foreign friends so that we can share knowledge, information and experience and also about the culture as well. So uh, it's really um, such a wonderful opportunity for me to study uh, here. ซึ่งความรู้เนี่ยได้รับการถ่ายทอดจากคณาจารย์ที่มีความเชี่ยวชาญแล้วก็มีประสบการณ์อย่างมากเลยอะค่ะทั้งในประเทศแล้วก็ต่างประเทศนะคะรวมไปถึงตัวเองเนี่ยก็ได้พัฒนาศักยภาพต่างๆนะคะโดยเฉพาะอย่างยิ่งในเรื่องของการทําวิจัยนะคะซึ่งก่อนหน้าที่จะเริ่มมาเรียนที่นี่เนี่ยก็ถือว่าเป็นเรื่องใหม่แล้วก็มีความรู้ความเชี่ยวชาญน้อยมากในประเด็นเหล่านี้ซึ่งก็ได้รับการถ่ายทอดไม่ว่าจะเป็นวิธีการกระบวนการคิดต่างๆอย่างเป็นระบบในเรื่องของการทําวิจัยอะค่ะความรู้แล้วก็ประสบการณ์ต่างๆที่รับการถ่ายทอดมาเนี่ยก็คือสามารถที่จะนำไปพัฒนาต่อยอดในการทํางานที่หน้างานประจําได้ในลำดับต่อๆไปอะค่ะเพื่อนก็น่ารักค่ะก็ได้เพื่อนใหม่ไม่ว่าจะเป็นรุ่นพี่รุ่นน้องก็เหมือนกับเราเนี่ยก็ได้คอนเน็กชันในเรื่องของเพื่อนร่วมวิชาชีพเพิ่มเติมเพิ่มเข้ามาค่ะที่ตามเลือกมาเรียนปริญญาโทที่นี่นะคะก็ตอบโจทย์ในหลายๆด้านนะคะในเรื่องของการทํางานอย่างเช่นว่าเราเองเนี่ยอยู่ในตําแหน่งของเภสัชกรฝ่ายวิชาการที่เราจะต้องเอาข้อมูลเนี่ยไปคุยกับบุคลากรทางการแพทย์นะคะซึ่งการที่เรามาเรียนปริญญาโทที่นี่ค่ะก็ทําให้เราเนี่ยได้มีการทําการวิจัยด้วยตัวเองนะคะแล้วก็ทําให้เราเนี่ยค่ะสามารถที่จะอ่านเปเปอร์หรืองานวิจัยอื่นๆของคนอื่นได้ด้วยะค่ะก็ตรงนี้ค่ะจะทําให้เราเนี่ยสามารถที่จะคิดวิเคราะห์นะคะแล้วก็ให้ข้อมูลกับบุคลากรทางการแพทย์ได้อย่างถูกต้องและมั่นใจค่ะตอนเข้ามาเรียนตอนแรกนะคะที่คิดไว้ก็คือน่าจะต้องเครียดแล้วก็กดดันมากๆนะคะเพราะว่ามันเป็นการเรียนที่เติบโตมาอีกขั้นหนึ่งจากปริญญาตรีแต่พอได้เข้ามาเรียนจริงๆเรารู้สึกว่าไม่เป็นอย่างที่ตัวเองคิดเลยค่ะเพราะว่าอาจารย์ก็คืออบอุ่นเพื่อนๆก็คือดีมากแล้วก็สามารถช่วยเหลือการจนไปถึงตลอดรอดฝั่งได้รู้สึกว่าตัวเองโชคดีที่ได้เข้ามาเรียนที่นี่ค่ะแล้วก็ได้รับความรู้กลับไปแบบเต็มๆค่ะจากความรู้ที่ได้รับจากที่นี่แล้วนะคะอีกสิ่งหนึ่งที่ได้รับที่สําคัญเลยก็คือเรื่องของประสบการณ์ค่ะเพราะว่านอกจากการเรียนการสอนของที่คณะแล้วนะคะก็ยังมีการที่ให้ไปฝึกงานที่โรงพยาบาลนะคะโดยอันนี้เนี่ยไปที่โรงพยาบาลจุฬาลงกรณ์สภากาชาติไทยค่ะซึ่งเป็นประสบการณ์ที่ใหม่มากสําหรับหนูการที่ได้เข้าไปดูคนไข้จริงๆได้เรียนรู้นําเอาทักษะกระบวนการคิดจากการที่เราเรียนไปใช้พัฒนาผู้ป่วยแล้วก็ค้นหาปัญหาแล้วก็ลองดูแนวทางการวิจัยที่จะเอาไปตอบโจทย์เพื่อพัฒนาระบบรวมถึงแก้ไขปัญหาของคนไข้ค่ะนอกจากนี้เวลาที่มีปัญหาอะไรนะคะอาจารย์ก็เป็นเหมือนกับพี่เพื่อนผู้คิดเป็นที่ปรึกษาที่ดีที่คอยช่วยเหลือทุกๆอย่างทําให้เราเนี่ยสามารถก้าวต่อไปได้อาจารย์เป็นแสงสว่างที่ช่วยให้ชีวิตของการเรียนปอโทเนี่ยดำเนินไปได้แบบสบายนาบเรียบแล้วก็มีความสุขค่ะกูดอัฟเทนูนสวัสดีค่ะ My name is ทัตตาสีบุญเรืองเกเตอร์วิทย์แอสโซเซเต็ดโปรเฟสเซอร์สลิพันธ์ We are the speakers today to talk about the master and doctoral degrees in pharmaceutical care. First of all, I would like to inform the participants the important date and timeline of graduate admission this year. As shown in the slide, we are at the round two of admission. The last date will be t 
the last step will be thirty April thirty for the round two, second round, and the last last of this semester to administ administration is May twenty first at three p.m. Thailand time to apply or apply online. For our programs, farm care program, we have a schedule like show in this slide. We will have a written examination related to the general knowledge about on the research and the methodology, and also general knowledge on pharmacology on the May 15th at 9 to 12 a.m. And we will have the interview on the May 20th. So any of you, if have any more question, don't hesitate to ask after the presentations, or you can contact Dr. Natada at this email, natada.a at farm.chala.ac.th. And also after the process, if you pass and you qualify to entrance to our program, we will announce the list of the applicants that passed the test on June 10, not beyond June 10. And if you're interested in the Asian scholarship or non-Asian scholarship that provide by Sri Lankan University, you can visit this website Web Web Academic, .th, search. And the last round to apply this scholarship, not later than June 15. This is the final round for this semester. I will talk about, after I inform you the, the important date of admission, so I would like to uh, explain about our program a little bit. Our program provides both the Master's Science in pharmacy, pharmacy Program in Pharmaceutical Care and Doctor of Philosophy Program in Pharmaceutical Care and can be simply called as a Clinical Pharmacy. The program focuses on the care of individualized patients, whether at the hospital, acute care or ambulatory care, or at a community pharmacy. Department of Pharmacy Practice is the main department responsible for teaching and training. We also incorporate with many other departments, for example, Department of Food Chemistry, uh, from a cognosy to integrate the knowledge and the multidisciplinary expertise to improve our program, which has been just updated in 2019. The highlight of the course is that if the student is enrolled in a master degree and interested in further study, they can extend to study at the doctoral program. In the contrary, if a student is enrolled in a doctoral degree, but they might, ha might not be able to complete the program, they can switch to master program instead. In both situations, the student can make a request and run the process without having to make a new application. Our department has long been responsible for both in teaching and the research works. Also, the curriculum is always being updated to be in a current situation. Until now, there are at least 200 master degree students and at least 20 PhD degree students who have been graduated. The detail of the course are as the follow for the Master of Science in Pharmacy program in pharmaceutical care. Uh, we has 
educational structure of uh, 36 credit. There are two types of teaching and learning. Plan A1 or in Thai we call Go. Plan A1 is for the thesis only and the plan A2 is the coursework and thesis. The qualifications of applicants to be eligible for study in the program. The first um, the applicant must graduate with a bachelor degree of the pharmacy with the GPA greater than 2.5. If you have a GPA more than 3.5 or GPA more than 3 with the ex working experience for 3 years, you can choose to study both plan, both plan A and A1 and A2. But if you have a GPA between 2.5 to 3, you choose, choose plan A2, which is the plan for study the coursework with the CCs. Second, you have to be, you have to have a pharmacist license and you have to pass the English taste according to the admission criteria that pronounced or announced by uh, that announced by the graduate school. For example, CU TAP score not less than 45 and you can um, searching more at this website to for the criteria. And also, you have to pass the written examinations and the interview of our program. You can follow more detail from graduate school admissions announcement in each academic year. For the Doctor of Philosophy program in pharmaceutical care is a course with the following educational structure. If the applicant is enrolled with bachelor degree in pharmacy or maybe in medical, uh, they can apply for study in either pen one pen thesis only or coursework and thesis. The total credit will be seventy two credits, or will will take approximately four years to complete the study. And if the applicant is enrolled with the master degree. The student must enroll doctor of philosophy program in pharmaceutical care in the 48 credits and take approximately 2.5 academic years to study. The applicants can apply to thesis only or um, coursework and thesis also. The qualifications of applicant to be eligible for study in the program graduated with a bachelor of pharmacy or a doctor of medicine with the first class honor have a professional license have an English taste score according to the admission criteria of the graduate school. For example, CU tape score not less than 67. Pass the written exam and the interview. Um, that is quite the same for, uh, for those. 
qualification to apply to the doctoral degree in pharmaceutical care. In the research section, it is directly involved in the thesis of graduate student. The research fields can mainly be divided into three parts. The first is clinical research, including pharmacotherapy in infection disease, neurological disorder, psychiatric disorder, outpatient care, renal disease, and apply PKPD, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics or pharmacogenomics to apply to use in the special populations or in the patients. The second of the research field will be the research on the outcomes research and quality of life research as shown in the following slides. And the third aspect will be the research work related to the development and analysis of the products related to the clinical studies as shown in the slide. The curriculum has the flexibility so that the student can choose topics that are suitable for their needs in the their future operations. Also, the course and the duration of teaching is flexible for the students. There are also scholarships for the graduate student who meet the requirement. Master of Science in Pharmacy program in pharmaceutical care and doctor of philosophy program in pharmaceutical care empower you thank you thank you so much to dr tata for giving us uh, information about our program the pharmaceutical care so i think after this we can uh, take some questions if any participants Pan has the questions. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Siri Pan and Dr. Tata for giving information of the pharmaceutical care programs in both Thai and English language. So at this moment is the Q&A time. So if anyone has some question, you can turn on your microphone and talk to us about what you would like to know. I think we can have like one or two questions that we can actually talk about it. If you need um, some more time and more question, you can go to the chat box and then type in your question and staff also coordinators can reply later on. Any questions from the audience and any participants? in the Zoom. Hello, good afternoon. Hi. I am Shafisal basically from Pakistan and currently I am residing in Indonesia. Okay, I, welcome yeah. to our session. Yeah, thank you so much. I just finished my master's degree in pharmaceutical sciences majoring in community pharmacy. All right. From University of Sri Lanka. I'm planning to apply for uh, PhD studies uh, in, in clinical pharmacy. So I'm just wonder, and I'm searching since two, three weeks, how to apply like through email or through online site or send the documents by post. So I am a bit confused in this. Uh, thank you so much for your time and considerations. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I think I'm not quite sure that I uh, understand your question. Can you please repeat yeah. your questions again? I think um, the prospective student from Indonesia asking about what is the best way to apply? Like what should be the starting point that he can do if he would like to apply to pharmaceutical care programs? Uh, I think uh, we take it as the for everyone who interested to the program so they can apply online so we can they can apply as a local regular uh, student 
Okay. You can apply with the uh -huh, university online. Okay. So I think I, I can um, help you on this to get into um, the first start. I think you see my slide now. Yeah, I can see it. Yes. So on the first step, if you design, you want to join the pharmaceutical care programs, what you need to do is you can go to step number four right here. Apply online yeah. by going to the website worldwidewebregister.gradjula.com. That's the university platform of graduate applications. Once you go in this website, looking for um, information of the programs. So on the um, Google document, if you go into that document, I will stop share and show you the Google document. So once you go to Google document website that I sent to the chat box. So on your screen, you will see folder of each program. So if you want to apply to pharmaceutical care, you go to that folder, then you go into the document and they will provide information in both Thai and English. The key important information that you need to have is program name here, pharmaceutical care, and curriculum code, the four digit number here, very important. So once you go to university website for admission, you can search by program name or curriculum code to get into the right information. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Dr. Sukhagan. Ah, okay, I think we can move on to the next programs and at the end of the presentation of each program, we can come back and talk to our participant again. So thank you so much for coordinator from pharmaceutical care programs. So next is uh, pharmacology and toxicology programs. So I would like to brought to you to the programs so over to you. Okay, thank you, uh, Ajahn Supakan. So uh, for the graduate program in pharmacology and toxicology, let me introduce you with the uh, research areas in our program first. The Department of Pharmacology and Physiology Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, Jualongkorn University consists of six research groups. Pharmacokinetic and Drug Metabolism Research. Associate Professor Dr. Suri Jianmongkorn. Dr. Nontanet Narendrat. One of our current research activities on pharmacokinetic, drug metabolisms, and drug transporters is now focusing on drug group interaction issues. The research topics include the mechanistic studies of potential drug group interaction in drug safety and efficacy, as well as development of natural chemosensitizers or bioenhancers against multi-drug resistance in cancer therapy. Cancer Research Group Professor Dr. Piti Chanwarashod Assistant Professor Dr. Supanika Thawinwang Associate Professor Dr. Warisa Pungrekhananon 
Cancer biology is one of our research areas in this department. We identify the molecular target of cancer metastasis, apoptosis resistance, and cancer immunology that will be potential target. We also investigate the pharmacological activity of compounds against cancer, as well as identify the molecular mechanism. Neuroscience research group in our department consists of three staff. Associate Professor Dr. Thong Chai Sukswe. Dr. Thong Chai Research focuses on neurophysiology, especially the neural circuit analysis of orienting and fear responses. His research uses various techniques, including optogenetics, patch clamp, state on system, in vivo recording, and behavioral analysis. Associate Professor Flying Officer Dr. Pasara Patoviwa. Her research aims to evaluate analgesic and anti inflammatory effects of the compounds using animal models. Dr. Pasara Pa investigates the effects of the compounds in acute pain models and neuropathic pain models. Assistant Professor Dr. Rachani Rossiri. She works in the neuropharmacology area. Dr. Rachani research focuses on the neuroprotective effect of the compounds in the animal model of Parkinson's disease. Dr. Rachani also investigates the neurotoxic mechanisms of drug abuse and the anti addictive effects of the compounds in the animal models of drug addiction. Animal models are the important tools for the research in neuroscience. Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, Jualongkorn University, provides the animal research facility equipped with various behavioral apparatus such as video tracking system, rotorot for rats and mice, drug self-administration apparatus, hot plate and tail flick test. This equipment and facility help support the advanced research Dr. We focus on the fundamental mechanisms of the cardiovascular system and how drugs influence the heart and vascular system. Our team explores many techniques, such as cell studies, animal studies, to investigate the cause and treatment of atherosclerosis arrhythmias, and cardiac toxicity of drugs, and many more. Pharmacogenomics Research Group Dr. Varali Yasura Her research relates to identifying biomarkers for disease prediction, drug response, and adverse drug reactions, which may differ according to the genetics of each patient. Her projects include the use of patient samples, studies in cell cultures, and functional analysis in animal model. Toxicology Research Group, Dr. Visarut Purnasatja, Dr. Buti Pauling Prasun. Toxicological research, our team mainly focus on cellular mechanisms of toxicity of pharmaceutical compounds natural products, as well as pollutants. We also investigate and develop predictive approach to prevent damage from exposure to such compounds.
So as you can see from the uh, video, our graduate programs in pharmacology and toxicology, we have uh, multidisciplinary research programs that um, related to the drug discovery and uh, advanced biotechnology, including toxicology, neuroscience, cancer, pharmacokinetic, precision medicines, and cardiovascular disease. Uh, our faculties are so uh, very active in research and very welcome to the uh, prospective students. They all have uh, collaboration in the uh, famous institu institutes, both in Thailand and international. So if um, any applicants or prospective students interested in our programs, so you can feel free to uh, send an email for further information and questions to pharmacology at farm.jula.ac.th. Also scan the QR code to our webpage that we always update about the program inf information, scholarships, uh, publications, or any activities in the program. Uh, our program provide both master and doctoral degrees in pharmacies. And we also offer both uh, coursework and non-coursework programs. So uh, with that, I like to thank you the, uh, the, the committees for this opportunity to chair our graduate program. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Supanika, for the information of uh, pharmacology and toxicology programs. I think uh, we will have some time to take online questions. So if the audience would like to talk to us, you can freely turn on your microphone and send some of your questions that we can promptly answer to you. Seems like there's no question. So I think we can move ahead to the next programs. I think the next programs is taken care by myself, which is industrial pharmacy. So I will share my slide again. So before um, we go ahead and talking about the industrial pharmacy, I would like to make some announcements of the program social and administrative pharmacy. As you know, we have these programs running in our faculties. However, for the first semester 2021, the admission is closed because they get full um, seat of the new graduate student. So if you would like to join these programs, you can uh, keep yourself updated and apply again for the second semester. For this program, Social and Administrative Pharmacy, the programs offer information and knowledge to conduct integrated research using some learning tools, including pharmacoepidemiology, pharmacoeconomics, pharmacy management, pharmacy informatics, health and drug policies. Um, during the online registration, I got question asking about online learning. At this moment, um, we don't have online programs, I mean like 100% online for these programs. However, um, if you register to the actual program. So you need to come to Thailand to study, to fulfill the whole requirement of the learning, including taking courses and also doing the research. So this is the most updated information that we have at the current time. However, um, in the future, maybe we can have the online classes 
that offer for online and continuous learning for um, the global learning system. So if we have that ready, um, I will make an announcement to our Facebook page for the new learning system that we may have for everyone in the future. So please stay tuned. Uh, I think I saw somebody rise up the hand. Maybe they already make the hand down. Any question from the audience? You can take this moment and talk to everyone here. So if you not be able to talk by microphone, you can um, welcome to send your question in the chat box. Our staff will um, reach you and give information that you would like to have. So next I will bring you to the next programs, which is The industrial pharmacy. Um, okay. So for the industrial pharmacies, these programs open for master and doctoral degrees. They divided the curriculum into two tracks. First track is pharmaceutics, pharmaceutical engineering, and next is pharmaceutics. So for more information, you can go to Google link that I just sent in the chat box and see the folder of industrial pharmacy. So you can read through the specification and qualifications about this program. Also, I would like to uh, bring up the video of the programs to show information of industrial pharmacy. So the video will including two clips. First is the general information of industrial pharmacy programs. And next we will have their current graduate students sharing about learning experience at these programs. So I hope you stay tuned and enjoy the video. Master of Science in Pharmacy program, Doctoral of Philosophy program in Industrial Pharmacy, Department of Pharmaceutics and Industrial Pharmacy, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Chulalongkorn University. Master of Science in Pharmacy program and Doctor of Philosophy program in Industrial Pharmacy was developed and designed especially for pharmacists who work or are interested in the fields of research and development of pharmaceutical and health-related products, as well as production and quality assurance. The program allows pharmacists from both the industrial and governmental sectors to gain knowledge and experiences through modern learning technology, critical thinking, and systematic research. Coursework and thesis topics can be customized to suit the student's individual needs. In addition, qualified Master of Science students who are interested to further their research experience can upgrade to the doctoral level program with ease. The program is divided into two study tracks depending on the individual student's work conditions and research needs. One is the pharmaceutical engineering track which offers only Master of Science in Pharmacy degree. And two, the Pharmaceutics track, which offers both Master of Science in Pharmacy and Doctoral degree. Pharmaceutical Engineering track is appropriate for industrial pharmacists who work in research and development, production, 
or quality assurance departments in the pharmaceutical or other related healthcare product industries, and for faculty members who work in academia or research institutes. Thesis can be done in collaboration with pharmaceutical industry, focusing on solving issues encountered in the industry, especially in the student's own workplace. The pharmaceutics track is appropriate for pharmacists who work in research and development, formulation, laboratory and extemporaneous pharmaceutical production, as well as developer of cosmeceutical and related healthcare product prototypes. The program is also suitable for faculty members who work in academia or research institutes. Theses are done in collaboration with pharmaceutical industry and research institutes, both domestic and international, with emphasis on problem solving and promoting pharmaceutical innovations. Regardless of tracks chosen, graduates from the program can work as R&D pharmacists, production and quality assurance pharmacists, pharmacists who assume the duty of plant managers and supervisors in the pharmaceutical and health-related product industries, and can also further their career as faculty members in academia and various research institutes. Qualifications for entrants are as follow, which regardless of degrees applied, all applicants must graduate with a Bachelor of Pharmacy from their respective countries. Master of Science in Pharmacy program consists of two study plans. One is a non-course work which students are required to do total thesis of 36 credits. And another plan with a coursework which requires 18 credits of coursework and 18 credits of research. There are two entry levels for doctoral degree, master and bachelor level. Applicant graduated with a master's degree in related field are required to take total of 48 credits with both coursework and non-coursework plans offered. However, applicant graduated with Bachelor of Pharmacy degree will be required to complete total credits of 72, also with both coursework and non-coursework plans offered. Students in the program are requested to complete six credits of required courses. And later, they can choose elective courses in the areas of research and development, or formulation and manufacturing, or courses relating to pharmaceutical quality system to match and tailor made to their specific needs and their own career path. Our program is managed by the program committee, which comprises of competent faculty members and the program coordinator. Faculty members are world-renowned researchers in the areas of pre-formulation and formulation development of drugs, biologics, vaccines, and cosmetic delivery systems through various routes using different technologies such as nanotechnology, microneedle technology, microencapsulation technology, complexation technology, particle technology, or even 3D printing technology, while evaluating these delivery systems by pharmacokinetics and stability studies. Several faculty members are also pursuing research on developing monitoring and control of pharmaceutical and biopharmaceutical processes through quality by design concept utilizing process analytical technology as a research tool. Our current research interests can be divided into six different areas as follow. Solid state chemistry and characterization will involve the study of solid-state kinetics of drugs, polymorphic screening, 
and investigation of novel polymorphic or amorphous forms as new drug candidates, and evaluate the effect of pharmaceutical processing on solid-state conversion, impacting intellectual property rights. We are also interested in the development of oral drug delivery systems such as tablets, hard and soft capsules, pellets, dissolvable films, and orally disintegrating dosage forms. Many of our researchers also interested in development of topical and cosmetic delivery systems, such as the development of dispersed systems and microneedle technology. Our research also emphasized on targeted and biopharmaceutical delivery systems and characterized using different cells and animal models, generating many quality research publications. We are also interested in developing particle and vesicular delivery systems through micro and nanotechnology platforms and molecular pharmaceutics. Part of our research contributes to manufacturing process development and control, production scale up, and pharmaceutical product development of various dosage forms, including design of experiments and applications of process analytical technology within the quality by design concept to achieve commercial scale production complying with ICHQ8 guideline. Research done by our program are internationally accepted and recognized by many acclaimed scientific conferences and researchers. And our commitment to excellence is a never-ending priority. Interested applicants can contact us through the program coordinator, Ms. Natakan Kanana at IP underscore farmjula at jula dot ac dot th as shown. It's really my pleasure to have this opportunity for sharing my experience as a graduate student at Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Chulalongkorn University. Uh, I am Pina Soniso. I came from Myanmar. Uh, I'm doing PhD at the Department of Pharmaceuticals and Industrial Pharmacy under the program of Doctor of Philosophy in Industrial Pharmacy. The major is pharmaceutics, and my research is about the cytoplasmic based hydro formulation for ocular drug delivery. Chulalongkorn so, University is known as the comprehensive and research intensive university and it is ranked as the best university in Thailand. Uh, according to many surveys, quality of research and quality of students and quality of uh, particular subjects and university reputation and environmental management system. And as the international student from Asian country, the university also provides a fellowship program to support both the education and also living in Thailand. And importantly, university locates in the downtown of Bangkok, so my accommodation is convenient and enjoy with the university facilities. Actually, I graduated in 2019 from the Chulalongkorn University with master degree in pharmaceuticals, and then my passion started to go on further than that. And I realized that the subject pharmaceuticals it fits in perfectly with my career aims like research and development. So I came here again for doctor degree study. And during my master degree, I was advised by Dr. Persawi Jenso from Department of Pharmaceuticals and Industrial Pharmacy. And I took classes to gain the new pharmaceutical fundamentals, which are really important to build my advanced skill in pharmaceutical research. And additionally, the presence of especially my advisor, I feel inspired by him and keeps best interest in mind of my subjects since my master's degree. He offers sound advice for both my personal and professional development. In our faculty, the program is well organized, the study plan and the courses are taught in English. 
and the faculty also provide the big scientific database to search and download online also. And in the laboratories, the research centers also provide the great support to students with many advanced equipment for research. And the good thing is that all students can access research device and we can plan our experiment friendly and the faculty staff were kind and friendly support for us. As we know, the most valuable lessons will necessarily come from the theory and textbooks. So at the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science, I can do my experiments and get trained very deep in research technique. I also participated in the international conference to share my research and get myself in the pharmaceutical community, which will support my future career and the new collaboration among the young generations. It's important to stay on the top of studying. It's just important to build a network with those around me, like the teachers, the professors, lecturers, lab mates, and friends, since everyone has the different experience and we can share each other. The teachers are very kind and the faculty staff are also supportive. And I can also make the lifelong friends with other Thai students and international students as well. And I can meet them every day and we can share not only knowledge but also the culture of our own countries. And it's a wonderful learning environment in a good balance with the joyful activities. While I'm studying here, the graduate trainee can improve my professional ship quality and I manage my time efficiently, plan to do prioritize and schedule my tests and improve myself. I set goals at the beginning of each semester and I just monitor my progress regularly. And I think this is the good tip for being a successful graduate student. And graduate study is not always easy. However, sometimes we can have fun and relax with the friends and overall, based on my experience, being a graduate student here can gain the knowledge while working and research in the laboratory. And during the meantime, we will learn more things that should be beneficial for human health. Relevant in this century, such as the new trust, new vaccine, or discovery of the drug mechanism and action. So personally, I recommend that this pharmaceutical science graduate program takes a proactive leadership role that will fulfill the needs of society and our future career. Thank you so much for giving the opportunity to join and share my experiences. All right, back to our online session once again. So it's now 3 p.m. Thai time. Maybe uh, in other countries, it's reached to an evening times already. So I would like to say hi to everyone once again. And our online sessions for introductions of the graduate program still continue. We have two more coming graduate programs. So we still have um, pharmaceutical science and technologies programs and cosmetic science. So right now, I think um, Professor uh, Dr. Prita Chunhacha is now ready on his office to give you information about the pharmaceutical science and technologies program. So over to you, Dr. Prita Khan. Oh, all right, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Supakan. So uh, first, <clears throat> I will share my screen so that so you can hear my voice clearly, right? Yes. Yes, okay, it's thank all you. set. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, firstly, I would like to introduce myself. Um, my name is, uh, as uh, Dr. Supakan introduction, my name is uh, uh, Prina Gon Chunhasha, who is le uh, recently a lecturer at the Department of uh, Biochemistry and Microbiology. So um, the, the program that I would like to introduce to you today is the multidisciplinary programs. Uh, the title of the program is the Pharmaceutical Science and Technology. Okay, so everyone's uh, already, you know, um, maybe already seen the, the YouTube and, the, uh, you know, a lot of the video clip telling that uh, right now, Chula is uh, among the top 
uh, university in Thailand and has been ranked as the world uh, top 100 academic, you know, in terms of academic reputation by uh, the QS World Ranking in 2021. So there's no questions about the quality of uh, our program offer. All right. So um, <clears throat> our program, as you can see, that uh, our program is the multidisciplinary programs. Not only the you know the program that we offer a various field for the student, but also uh, also for the student body, uh, we do have a lot of multinationality, and we we both have very you know enthusiastic environment, and we have a very, very vibrant communities that student connected to each other. We do have the class that offer the student to have the actual interaction among them. And at the end of each semester, we have the chance, uh, we offer the chance to the student to present their progression in the every semester. Okay, so first, uh, the question is why uh, you may be interested to apply to PST program at Jolanongkorn University. Because first, as we know that Jolanongkorn is the world-class uh, university and also um, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Science is among of the world-class pharmaceutical program in Thailand. And we also offer the multidisciplinary. So that means, um, you know, whatever fields that you are looking for, I think you may, you may find one of our professor that suits your interests. And of course, when we do have the multidisciplinary programs, we also offer international collaborations among the several countries throughout the world, ranging from China, Germany, Indonesia, Japan, Korea, Philippines, Singapore, uh, United Kingdom, and also USA. And <clears throat> the strength is that, is that this is available for those who holding both bachelor's and master's degree in both pharmaceutical science, uh, in science fields or related field as well. Okay, so you may wonder that, um, okay, so we are in a multidisciplinary program. So what kind of the fields uh, that has been you know, taught in our programs? So this is, can be classified into six category. And the first one is the drug delivery system and pharmaceutics. The second one is the food chemistry and medicinal nutrition. <clears throat> the third one is herbal medicine and natural product, medicinal chemistry and pharmaceutical analysis, and pharmaceutical biotechnology and microbiology and pharmacology and toxic. So this is ranging from the drug discovery process, you know, how you can identify the lead compound, how you can further test them, and how could you formulate the drug product in order to um, make the suitable pharmaceutical uh, dosage forms. So we cover all that fields. And of course, we offer the program for both master and the doctoral uh, degree, right? And we also offer both non-cost work and the cost work. So, uh, but the, the condition is that for the student who would like to apply for the non-cost work, you might need to have uh, the experience in the research, both in the master and the doctoral uh, degree, you know? Okay, so if you're interested to apply for the master program, you might look to your profile. If you do have uh, some research experience and you may find yourself suitable for the non-cost work, you can discuss with your potential advisor and uh, may apply to the non-cost work. But they will have some you know, uh, criteria for that. You have to uh, you know, have meet that requirement you know, in terms of the GPA and all those stuff. And for the doctoral degree is also applicable for both master graduates and also bachelor graduates as well. And uh, it's depending on uh, you would select the non cost work or the cost work, right? But in general, we, uh, we mostly encourage our students to apply for the cost work program because we also have the class for you guys that you can make sure that you will have the basic knowledge to conduct the research you know successfully so talking about the the research laboratory so as you may know that our faculty equipped with the 
you know, high technology, you know, starting from the, you know, drug discovery, we have uh, the machine that you can identify the drug product. Uh, even you can test them in the animal model. So we provide all that facilities for you. Okay, so for the research area, since we are a multidisciplinary, uh, multidisciplinary programs, as I mentioned earlier, so we have a very wide range of the research area. Uh, so I guess that it might have at least one of the topics that suits your interest, uh, ranging from the drug discovery, both from the small molecule and for the large molecule like the antibody or vaccine development. In terms of uh, pharmacology, we also have the, uh, the uh, professor that is very expert in the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics to uh, create the research for you in both in vitro and in vivo model in various uh, you know, specific fields. And also we also offer like the cancer cell biology and chemotherapeutic resistant mechanism as well. Not only that, we also have the um, expertise in order to uh, doing the research in the drug delivery system by using a various type of the drug delivery method like polymer drug conjugate, you know, peptide drug conjugate, you know. And also for the drug development, we have also have the um, faculty members who are really special for the bioinformatics. You know, and as you know that the big data is the, the new uh, fields of, uh, you know, in the research, uh, we kind to adapt those like large data in order to, to find out the new discovery. So we also have the professor that who is really keen on that particular field as well. All right. <clears throat> so for more information, as, as you saw from the slides that we have a various a very wide range of the professor. So um, the, in the last part of my presentation, I will show you the link, which you can uh, click and try to find the faculty members that might suit your interests. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, that we have international collaboration throughout the world, and we actively doing the uh, research together with all the country indicated here. Also, um, um, same as another program, uh, the other program is that we have the scholarship and the research funding, you know, this is uh, depending on your qualification. So you might go to the, uh, the graduate, um, you know, grants that um, announce online to check your criteria, you know, check your state up whether you are applicable for scholarship applications. And we do have the research funding, you know, for, for the potential student. And we have the, the system that we send the student to present um, internationally when, um, I mean, when the, the, the country is uh, become open again. So we, we hope that in the near future, we can send our student to, to have like the overseas presentation. And actually our program just, uh, have the uh, you know the funding to support uh, the very potential PhD student to present overseas. So I think that is the great opportunity for you that you can engage to the international level. So talking about the cost offer uh, by PST program, we have a, a fundamental cost that um, for the newcomers to enroll. We have the drug development, especially in the principal in the drug development or the principal in DDD. So this one is the uh, the class that will teach you the basic knowledge of how the lead compound has been identified from various source, starting from the small molecule, the biologics and ETC, you know, from the plants and everything. So <clears throat> after that class, uh, you you will have the chance to get rotation into each professor you know so you can sort out like which professor that you think his or her uh, research uh, suits your interest and then you may try to apply and then you might have the chance to rotate 
within the lab. So I think that is a great opportunity for you before you make decisions, right? Because sometimes you are not quite sure that you may be or not really suitable for that particular works or that environment. So I think the DDD is the great chance for you to have the lab rotation before you make decision who will be your advisor. And we have the basic uh, course uh, teaching on the basic research methodology will uh, offer the chance for you to develop your proposal. So you will learn how to draft your proposal, you know, as the, to meet the standards. So you have the system to help you throughout the process. And of course, we have the seminar that conduct every week. So uh, we have the student right now is almost 100 students. So our students discuss every week, like, um, uh, they present their work, like, and then sometimes they present the review articles. So that is very, very fundamental and very, you know, enthusiastic uh, discussion environment. So if you would like to know more, you may contact your friend who uh, uh, right now currently uh, in our program, and you will know that we have very active uh, seminar discussions every week. <clears throat> And this is the, the, the example that at the end of the semester, we offer the chance uh, to the student to present uh, their progress report by poster presentation. So um, for the master degree, you will have the chance to create a beautiful uh, poster, uh, which you can uh, you know, present to all your friends and the faculty member. You will have the engage uh, to discussion between a different student, you know, from various fields. So I think that is the great opportunity for all of you. Um, not only, you know, doing the research in the lab, but you also have a chance to come and talk to other people, which is the most important part of the uh, graduate study. And we also have, uh, you know, a very high standard learning facility. We have a very good uh, library. We offer, uh, you know, um, a very good interacting classroom and we have, you know, even the drugstore. So this is like uh, you will be sitting in the heart of Bangkok, you know, and you, you will be in the environment that has very rich in the learning facility. And not only that, we uh, have the, uh, you know, for Chulalongkorn University overall, we have a very uh, vibrant um, campus life because you are now situated in the heart of Bangkok. All right. Okay. So um, when if you would like to know more about us, you can go to the web link that I provide on top of the screen. And when you go to this website under the chula.ac.th and you select the pharmaceutical science and technology programs, uh, it will pop up the web page like this, and then you can click enter website, you know, the, the pink circle over there, that is the enter the website. After you click that, you will be, uh, you will, br you will be bring, uh, you will be in the move to the website that you can see the number of the faculty members, as well as they have the link that you can sort out uh, what is uh, their uh, research uh, expertise, right? And uh, yeah, so you you may definitely find me as well and as an Dr. Supakan as well. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can click by going through this, uh, you know, pink website, you know, after you go to this web page, and then uh, you can sort out what is his or her expertise and you may select from that, that whether or not you would like to apply uh, to do the research with them. And this is the, the step that, uh, you know, I, I heard that some of you asking these questions uh, earlier about the registrations. So this is like the, 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 the web page that you may, uh, you may see when you go to the register gradula.com and you go to the register. And then in that uh, box, you type in pharmaceutical science and it will pop up like the master of the PST and also doctor of philosophy in pharmaceutical science and technology. In that uh, particular, you know, uh, role, you can only view if you just want to get the information or you can even apply to the program 
directly from this web link. So um, just try to get used to all this web link. So not only LPST, right? So if you go to this page, you can search for another program if you have specific interest as well. All right, so this is the QR code and the link, which is I already shown in the previous slide. Okay, so <clears throat> I think that is all for me. And uh, uh, if you do have the question, do not hesitate to email us at the farsightic at farmjula.ac.th or even call us, you know, in that particular phone call and keep in touch in the Facebook page at the facebook.com slash farsightechjula, you know, okay. So I wish that you will get all of the information from the PST program and our faculty also offer a very, you know, interesting program coming up as well. All right. So thank you very much, um, uh, Ajahn Supakan and Ajahn Chittima as well. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Pridakon Chunhacha, for the introductions of the programs, namely pharmaceutical science and technology. So if you have more questions or would like to discuss about the detail, you can contact the program directly or send us a message in the chat box and then we can get the answer for you during this online session. To make things brief and go to the next uh, program, so this is the last programs that we would like to introduce to you and it's very interesting. Some of our Thai students like to participate in these programs because it's about cosmetic science. So if you are interested in this field, please stay tuned and update yourself with us. Today we have Dr. Jittima Lakhanakul, the program coordinators, will give you the inside information. So if you are ready, we would brought over to you. Uh, all right, I hope everyone see my slides here. Uh, okay. Yes, it's looking good. Okay, um, I'm gonna start now. However, before I started uh, to welcome all the, uh, you know, potential 2021 master students in Master of Science program in Cosmetic Science, um, I need to, um, I need to tell you guys that this program, unfortunately, is the only program in the uh, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences that still um, that accept high students only, which I mean, uh, it's not fair to, 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 to tell you that I uh, we accept only Thai students, but if you are international students, but you can understand Thais, then we are all more than welcome you to apply. Um, however, this is an extra hours program. And um, so it's uh, been taught in Thai and it uh, will continue to be uh, teaching in Thai for this um, academic year. Um, if we have any updates, uh, you know, if we want to expand in the international uh, languages, then uh, we will give update on the website. Um, so stay tuned if you guys are the international students and interested in our program here. So our program is belong to the um, Department of Pharmaceutics and Industrial Pharmacy. So if you um, the, the uh, presentation from the industrial program earlier, uh, we have the same group of faculty members in the department. So um, as the cosmetic science is uh, mostly based on the uh, basic science on pharmaceutics and um, industrial pharmacy. So all the faculty members in this department uh, also work with the cosmetic sciences and uh, cosmeceuticals sciences as well. So uh, our head of department is Prof Assistant Professor Narupon uh, Sutan Thawibun. Um, uh, she, she is the one who uh, have heard her beautiful voice in that presentation. And the um, our program director is Associate Professor Pon Penwira Watakanon as shown here uh, on the corner right. And uh, these are the faculty members that teaches uh, in the um, this program. And uh, you already got this information, so I'm gonna go faster. 
And this is our uh, way of communication. <laughs> and uh, she is the, one of the um, uh, um, main persons who you can contact. Uh, uh, you can email her at Jitima, uh, this email. So um, at Hotmail. And we have the scientists, three scientists who can assist you on all your lab work and the um, uh, the coursework that um, listed in the program. Okay. And we also do international research collaborations uh, with both universities and the industrial sectors. And these are the examples of the universities and the institutes and also the um, uh, some industrial uh, sectors internationally um, that we we work with and develop uh, 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 both our knowledge our academia and the the, the, the products wise uh, um, I may switch into Thai because like I said this program is for the um, people who understand Thais only เอ่อเรามีหลักสูตรแบบกขและแผนขอเท่านั้นนะคะก็คือถ้าเกิดว่าเราเหมือนเหมือนกับว่าเป็น A2 แบบที่เราทําวิเน้นทําวิจัยมากกว่านะคะซึ่งแบบแผนขอเนี่ยเอ่อเราก็จะจบด้วยด้วยเอ่อเอกตะศึกษานะคะก็คือเอ่อมี
นี่ก็จะเป็นเราไปไปทำช็อตคอสเทรนนิ่งที่ Cosmos Technical Center นะคะซึ่งเป็นงานเอ่ออินสติทิวที่เอ่อเป็นเอกชนนะคะเป็น private sector ของที่ญี่ปุ่นซึ่งดังมากนะคะก็จะไปร่วมเอ่อดูงานนะคะแล้วก็เอ่อแลกเปลี่ยนประสบการณ์แล้วก็อาจจะไปมีการฟังเลคเชอร์เรื่องเอ่อนิวเทคโนโลยีของเทรนด์ของโลกนะคะกับเอ่อทางคอสมอสนะคะเอ่อซึ่งคิดว่าถ้าโควิดเริ่มดีขึ้นเราสามารถเดินทางได้เราก็น่าจะไปได้ในปีหน้านะคะแล้วก็อันนี้ก็เป็นภาพความประทับใจนะคะแล้วก็ตอนนี้เนี่ยเบสออนเอ่อพันเดมิกต่างๆนะคะเราก็ยังมีการเรียนออนไลน์เป็นหลักเราก็จะมีระบบออนไลน์ที่คล้ายๆกับโปรแกรมอื่นๆนะคะในห้องเรียนออนไลน์อ่ามาถึงเอ่อคุณลิฟิเคชันของทุกของของผู้สมัครนะคะจริงจริงก็คือก็คือมีพื้นฐานมาจากคุณลิฟิเคชันของบัณฑิตศึกษาเลยนะคะทุกทุกอย่างเลยนะคะแล้วก็แนะนําให้เอ่อให้นิสิตที่จบปริญญาบัณฑิตด้วยตั้งเฉลี่ยสัดส่วนตั้งแต่ 2.5 ขึ้นไปนะคะของทั้ง2แผนนะคะโดยที่จริงๆแล้วแผนค่ะก็จะแนะนำให้นิสิตที่จะเลือกเรียนแผนขอจะเป็นคนที่สามารถทำอาจจะทำงานวิจัยมีเวลาในทำทำงานวิจัยในในที่ทำงานได้นะคะแล้วก็แต่ต้องได้รับอนุญาตจากที่ทำงานนะคะเพราะว่าแผนขอจะมีเวลาทำวิจัยน้อยมากนะคะแล้วก็แบบแผนกรเนี่ยจะเน้นเป็นการทำวิจัยของเราเนี่ยการศึกษาคอสเมติกไซเอนซ์ในโปรแกรมเราอะค่ะเราจะอย่างที่เห็นคือตีสีเยอะมากนะคะในหน่วยกิจของตีสีเยอะมากเพราะฉะนั้นจริงๆมันเป็น research base มันจะไม่ใช่การที่มาให้คุณทำมีสูตรมาให้แล้วคุณทำกับข้าวแล้วเราสูตรกับบ้านไปอย่างนั้นก็ไม่ใช่นะคะเราสร้างสร้างบุคลากรที่มี critical thinking นะคะในเรื่อง research นะคะด้านโดยเฉพาะด้าน cosmetic science นะคะแล้วก็สามารถที่จะมี interdisciplinary science ที่จะเอาไปพัฒนาตลาดเครื่องสำอางในประเทศได้นะคะแล้วก็ถ้าแผนขอก็แนะนำว่าจะมีประสบการณ์การทำงานมาแล้วจะดีมากนะคะจะได้รู้เป้าหมายอย่างชัดเจนแล้วก็เลือกลงคอร์สเวิร์กได้อย่างได้อย่างตรงเป้าหมายแล้วก็สนับสนุนแคเรียพาสของคุณได้นะคะแล้วก็แต่เราก็ไม่ได้ลิมิตนะคะถ้าใครยังไม่มีประสบการณ์แต่เหมาะสมเหมาะสมกับการสถานะเหมาะสมกับการเรียนแผนขอก็ก็อาจจะพิจารณาได้นะคะอย่างเช่นบางบางคนเป็นเจ้าของกิจการนะคะแล้วก็มีแ a บมีทุกอย่างเป็นไปเอ่ออยู่อยู่อยู่ที่อยู่ที่บริษัทตัวเองอย่างเงี้ยก็ก็จะมีเหมือนกันนักศึกษาในสิทธิ์ที่เข้ามาเรียนโดยที่เพิ่งจบมาแต่ว่าที่บ้านก็มีกิจการอ,อยู่แล้วโดยที่เป็นกิจการเครื่องด้านเครื่องสำอางแล้วก็ฟาแกรนซ์นะคะเขาก็สามารถทํางานแล้วก็สามารถเ,เป็นนิสิตแผนขอได้ทางทางที่ยังไม่ได้มีประสบการณ์การทํางานมาก่อนอย่างนี้ก็ก็ก็ก็สามารถเกิดขึ้นได้นะคะไม่ลิมิตนะคะแต่ว่าเวลาเป็นเรื่องสําคัญเนื่องจากโปรแกรมนี้ค่ะเราเรามีการจัดการเรียนการสอนเฉพาะเสาร์อาทิตย์เพราะฉะนั้นนิสิตส่วนใหญ่ก็จะมีงานทําประจําในวันธรรมดาจันทร์ถึงศุกร์แล้ววันเสาร์อาทิตย์จะเป็นคอร์สเวิร์กทางสิ้นเพราะงั้นเวลาที่ใช้ในการทํางานวิจัยต้องบริหารจัดการด้วยตัวเองอย่างดีเยี่ยมนะคะมีฉะนั้นก็จะไม่จบตามเวลานะคะซึ่งโดยทั่วไปโปรแกรมนี้ค่ะจัดแผนการศึกษาเอาไว้2ปีนะคะแล้วก็คะแนนภาษาอังกฤษก็คล้ายๆกับทุกโปรแกรมซึ่งปีนี้เข้าใจว่าที่ทางอาจารย์สุภาการได้แจ้งแล้วก็คือเรามี exemption ให้นะคะแต่ว่าตอนตอนเข้าเนี่ยอาจจะไม่เป็นไรแต่ตอนออกเนี่ยก็คือต้องได้ตาม requirement อยู่ดีนะคะไม่อย่างก็จบไม่ได้นะคะแล้วก็อันนี้เป็น admission schedule ของปีนี้นะคะเราก็เริ่มรับสมัครทั้งหมดตามสเกดูของจุลาเลยนะคะแล้วก็อันนี้รายละเอียดพวกนี้ก็คือคืออีเมลมาถามได้นะคะทางที่คอนแทคของคุณจิติมาที่ให้ไปนะคะก็เราก็จะมีการสอบสัมภาษณ์วันเดียวกันทั้งหมดนะคะก็คือ28พฤษภาคมนะคะแล้วก็ประกาศผลนะคะวันที่2มิถุนาทางเว็บไซต์แกรดจุลานะคะแล้วก็วันเวลาที่ระบุนี้นะคะเป็นระหว่างเวลา8ถึง16นาฬิกาเท่านั้นนะคะไม่ใช่ว่าจะมาสมัครวันที่21พฤษภาคมตอนเที่ยงคืนอย่างนี้ก็ถือว่าหมดเวลาสมัครไปแล้วนะคะ
ค่ะอันนี้ก็สำคัญนิดนึงนะคะเป็นรายละเอียดค่าใช้จ่ายเนื่องจากโปรแกรมนี้เนี่ยเป็นหลักสูตรพิเศษนะคะสอนวันเสาร์อาทิตย์เพราะฉะนั้นเนี่ยเราจะมีค่าธรรมเนียมการศึกษาพิเศษเฉพาะสาขาเพิ่มขึ้นมาจากหลักสูตรทั่วไปนะคะเราจะมีภาคการเพิ่มมาภาคการศึกษาละเจ็ดหมื่นบาทนะคะของทุกทุกภาคการศึกษาค่ะแล้วก็อาจารย์อาจจะลืมแนะนำตัวอาจารย์ชื่อจิตติมาเหมือนกันนะชื่อเหมือนทุกท่านคอร์ดิเนเตอร์ที่เป็นเจ้าหน้าที่พี่เอกนะคะก็อาจารย์จิตติมาลัคนากุลนะคะอาจารย์ก็เป็นเลขาของหลักสูตรก็ถ้าใครสนใจก็สอบถามได้ค่ะขอบคุณมากค่ะ Thank you so much Dr. จิตติมา so it's now um, Q&A time Uh, I think we can start for Q&A for cosmetics program first. If anyone in the Zoom webinar have some question, like Thai student or international student, you can turn on your microphone and feel free to ask any questions. Maybe I give some time for cosmetic science, and then I will uh, lead you to a Q&A session for the whole program. All right. So, if no question for cosmetic science at this moment, I would like to say thank you so much, Dr. j i t i m a for deliver a very nice presentations in both Thai and English for us. So that would be uh, all presentations from the all programs that we have. So now we are at the final moment of our webinar. Uh, which is the virtual open house for the graduate programs. So right now, if everyone here at the Zoom applications uh, has some question, you can turn on your microphone and talk to us about questions and informations that you may have. I think I will spend about five to ten minutes based on your request to talk about your question. During the time that we wait for a question in the chat box, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our lovely coordinators from each programs that come joining our activities today: Dr. t a t a s i b u n r e n g Dr. s i l i p a n p a t n a r e d i Dr. s u p a n i k a t w i n w a n g Dr. p r i d a g o n c h u n h a c h a and Dr. j i t i m a l a k h n a g u n to present. And being a representative of their graduate programs, I hope everyone joining the virtual open house today get a lot of informations and maybe you find out that our program suitable for your future. So if you would like to join the programs, you can scan the QR code to get more informations. Um, follow us at Facebook page Farm CU Grad or contact any. Um, Coordinators, based on information that they're giving to you. We also um, appreciate your time to come joining us today, as this is the first year that we create the online activities, and I realize that we can spend time together and getting more information based on um, our current graduate programs and participation in this session. Actually, a lot more than actual activities that we have at our faculties, but we hope in the future. Sure, we can see everyone at our faculties. So, as a representative of faculties of Pharmaceutical Science, Jalalongkorn University, I would like to welcome everyone that stay in Thailand, come visit us. Sometime that you uh, come to Bangkok, we are at the center of Bangkok. Very easy to to come by sky train. And for the international student, I would like to say thank you so much for spending time with us. I hope you um, have a good choice for your future if you are looking for graduate programs. And I hope to see you once again sometime online or on site. And stay safe from uh, the pandemic and stay in the good health 
Hopefully, we can see you again at j u l a w a n g o n University. I will be here if you have any questions for five minutes. If you um, don't have any question, I would like to say goodbye, and hopefully, we can meet each other online or on site sometime in the future. I would like to say bye and stay safe and stay in good health. Thank you so much.